Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Doing some more professional runs with the Tier 3 equipment. I just unlocked the um, Tier 3 therm digital thermometer, so I'll be making use of that. And we're going to be continuing in the roadhouses. Motion sensor, photo of the ghost, and crucifix. Um, all right, so I successfully got ghost writing and dots. I've used the camera, I just haven't seen a ghost orb yet. I did successfully get a, a spirit uh, response, but it was random. It wasn't while I was talking to it. I've already used the EMF. Haven't gotten an EMF-5 with it yet. I'll be using the digital thermometer for the first time. I'm still on the tier one glow stick. I don't really care about uh, demonstrating the tier 3 flashlight. It's just a big purple flashlight. That's all it is. So with all that in mind, let's go inside and do our stuff. Power is in the garage. Here we go. Take a quick look around for the phone. Is there a hiding spot in here? Yes, there is. I will open you all the way just in case. So I need a cursed object and a bone. Upstairs? I don't even know. Okay, I'll take a quick look downstairs. Spot here too? Good. Summoning circle. Ugh. Well, I can use that to drop my sanity if I want. Each, each candle drops my sanity 16%. Alright, well, it would be nice to have a clue of where the ghost is. That didn't work. I'll just try both of these. How's that? Seven in there. Nineteen in here. So it seems like you're in here, huh? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? What do you want? How old are you? How old are you? Doesn't look like it's going to be freezing. So I heard that if the digital thermometer shows less than one degree, that means that it will be freezing because digitals will only show less than one degree if it's going to be freezing. That was an interesting little tidbit that I learn in the, some of the streams that I watch sometimes. Uh, okay.
Doesn't look like. Doesn't look like a ghost storm. No spirit box, no freezing, no ghost storm. I could be wrong about that. These are just guesses at this point. Okay, we got dots. So, oh. Oh, interesting. I'm going to do a test to confirm that it's a Gorio. The one thing that a Gorio does is it gives us off a dots ghost on the camera, but oh. not in vision. So let's try that. Come on, give me dots. Oh, that's right, it won't do it if you're in the same room. Well, how am I going to do that then? Well, I guess I can't really demonstrate it all that well. Wait, yes I can. By doing it here. And then I'll stand outside the room. I don't know if it'll do it for me, but we can try. Doesn't seem to want to. No? Not going to do it for me? I'll give it one more rotation, and then I'll give up. No. Nope. Doesn't look like it's going to do it for me. Fine. Sorry, no demonstration for that today. You would have seen the ghost in the camera, but not in the green light. Okay, sanity's low enough. Let's take care of that. Let's put a bunch of salt in the room, since Agorio is never going to change rooms. Let's see, what else? Uh, what is the evidence for Gorio anyway? EMF5, ultraviolet, and dots. So let's prove that out. Fingerprints, perfect. could bring three candles in and light them. Don't 
Don't want to do anything for me? Well, let's leave that there for the time being. What are the other objectives? Photo of the ghost. Yeah, that's going to happen. Uh, motion sensor and crucifix. Can you get a photo of the ghost in dots mode if it won't show? I don't know. Motion sensor and crucifix. Sanity's at 90. We have an EMF-5, official. So, EMF-5 and ultraviolet, well, absolutely a Gorio. Very nice. Let's, um, let's get some photos. So, I guess this was an EMF-5, and that was probably another EMF-5. Motion sensor should be easy enough. Getting a photo of the ghost is going to be a little bit tricky. If it does a visible ghost event, then that'll make that easy enough, but... Where'd the camera? Oh. Come on, let me grab my book. Thank you. So I just need a photo of the ghost. Not sure how I'm going to get that. I really don't want to get a hunt. If I can avoid it. Let's turn this off since it's blinding me. Jen Wilson, show yourself. Jen Wilson, show yourself. I'm going to move this one closer to the door. This one should cover the whole room. Jen Wilson? Jan Wilson, show yourself. Jan Wilson, show yourself. Jan Wilson, show yourself. I could get a picture of the ghost by using the summoning circle. But I don't really want to. Jen Wilson, show yourself. I'm not going to wait much longer. I'll go without the ghost photo if I need to. Jen Wilson, show yourself. Where are you? Last try. Jen Wilson! Jan Wilson, show yourself. Where are you? Did I ever 
find the bone? Not much point in looking for the bone if I can't get a perfect game anyway. Let's turn you off. Oops. Pushing, uh, pushing my chair out of the way here. Whoops. There's the bone. for one crucifix objective. Or, well, I mean, I could just wait around a little bit. I better, uh, I better take a smudge in just in case. Just turn down the radio. That's nice and cursed. One candle only. And take a picture of that. Give up on the ghost photo. Just burned a crucifix, so I'm out of here. If it wouldn't have been a Gorio, I would have waited around for the dots uh, ghost to appear in front of me, and then I would have taken a picture of it. But since we're dealing with a Gorio, it will never appear visibly in the dots, so I'll go without it. I'm not going to unlock another item until level 68, so my money's going to be building up between now and then. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. 20 minutes for that. Uh, and only 970 because I didn't get a perfect game? Wow. Alright, let's move on to Ridgeview. I believe this is heavy rain. And I just want to demonstrate that heavy rain does not put out a lighter. The tier 3 lighter, anyway. So that'll allow me to light smudges in a campground. Whoops, where's the power? It's downstairs. Downstairs to the left. One thing I like about Ridgeview is the easy hiding spot here behind the fridge. Of course it's a pull door. Why wouldn't I think it was a push door? Summoning circle. Are you in here? Maybe. It's 9 degrees. 8.4. And what's the temperature up here? 11. 10. I will give the downstairs a minute to cool off. see here. Escape, repel, and blow out a candle, huh? Well, I can let it come upstairs for a hunt and then smudge it and then hide behind the fridge. It should be easy enough.
Might as well take a smudge in and be ready for that. Try it. Okay, let's try again. 10.7, didn't I turn on the power? Why is it so... It's 12 down here. So let's put this out. Don't want to use it up. I think I prefer the digital responses to the um, to the slower ones from the mercury thermometer. Did I just see a mist over here? No. Nine point eight. Eight point eight. Three. How, how old are you? Where are you? What do you want? Project killing. Fine. Now I know where I need to put the candle. I think that's still a safe place to hide though. Go ahead, pull that out. Have a ball. Just hit a door so I can go back in with these. Sanity's getting a little low though. back here too. So wait a minute, where is this ghost hanging out? It's 2.8 in here, 2.2 in here, 1.3. It's not going below 1. It's almost going below 1. Two, three, and three. Whoops. Can leave this in there. I'm pretty sure it's not a UV ghost. So let's see here. It's not a UV, it is a spirit box. Uh it's not a freezing temps. That's all I know so far. I have yet to see a ghost orb by the new camera. 
feel like, <laughs> with it being this big in VR, I feel like I'm being crowded. These things are so big. The posture on the book is good for tier 3, but for tier 2, it, I have stubby arm. Um, let's see. Let's put this here. Fine. Three, two, three. So ghostwriting, spirit mirror or Dio Diogen. It doesn't look like it's a ghost orb. Spirit or Diogen. So it's got to be MF five or dots. Which one's it going to be? Hey, there's a ghost orb there. See it? We have a mare. That means it's going to hunt at 60%. That's fine by me. Uh, let's lay down some salt since we know it's going to hunt. Off the power. You're popping my light, are you? Take one more smudge in. I'll take a few photos. But the moment I hit, get hit with another um, sanity attack, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to check my sanity one more time. I 
Okay, we're in hunt territory now, and the objectives are uh, escape and repel. Trade hands on these. Is that it? Did I live? I think I still need to find the bone. Cool. So I'll take a quick look for it upstairs. Because I never saw it anywhere down here. At least I don't remember picking it up. Opportunity for a perfect game. Don't deny it to me. I already looked over here, right? That's a smudge. I don't think I picked it up already. Well, there it is. Okay, now I'm out of here. Thank you, Mayor. There's that ghost orb again. It's right there. Investigation bonus, 185, but not a perfect? Did I miss something? I picked up the bone. I did take all the photos, didn't I? Huh. I don't know what's going on there. That's alright. I'm not going to complain. Um, okay. Do I want to do one more? I need to check something very quickly. Got a work alert. Had to see if a process succeeded. All right, on to Grafton. Right, yeah. Escape from the lapel. Photo of the ghost.
Power's up in the storage room. Maybe I'll just go straight up there first. Common hiding spots are behind the sofa back there and behind the kitchen island in the kitchen. Bone, I'll just grab you right now so I don't forget. Do we have a hiding spot? Yes, we do. Don't need to look for the bone anymore, but I do need to look for the cursed object. I think the voodoo doll is in here. Okay, sounds like the ghost is up here, or it's a phantom and it's stalking me. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. So the ghost room isn't up here at all, but I just heard a pan get thrown somewhere up here. It didn't sound like it was downstairs. Where would it be? Maybe it was downstairs, but it certainly sounded like it was up here. Do not know. All right, well, I'll keep sampling, I guess. This is awfully convenient. Okay, kitchen ghost. How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? No, please. Doesn't look like it's going to be a freezing ghost. If you keep that up, though, you're going to make me think you're a poltergeist. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop. My VR belt is a magnet. There. So where am I going to hide? I guess I can run upstairs and duck into the locker. That really makes me, well, at the very least, it looks like an EMF-5. Uh, and spirit box. So spirit, wraith, or the twins. Hmm. I'm beginning to suspect it's a wraith. How's my sanity? Time to plaster the room with a bunch of salt. some motion sensors too, just to prove that it's in there. Because if it, if it did come upstairs, then it's probably a wraith that just teleported. If it is a wraith, then the last bit of evidence will be dots. And I believe a ghost photo was one of the evidence I need, right? Yes, indeed. So, I'll put up the dots. 
and I'll wait with the camera. I have a better idea. I'll put up two dots and wait with the camera. This is pretty clearly a wraith. It's in the room. Did it just walk through me? Come on. Good enough. Was it at least a three star? A one star ghost photo? <laughs> Fine. So what's the other evidence for? Okay, Spirit Box and EMF 5. So I'm not going to be getting any Ultraviolet, which makes sense because it can't step in salt anyway. Photos are going to be hard to get. Did I find the bone? I think I did, yes. Because I said, let's pick you up so I don't forget. Um, so dang! So I have to repel and escape? Um, well I could. Get some interaction photos at least. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Let's turn on the light. I'll take a lighter and a smudge in.
do that again, man. Thank you. I guess I'll go put up insanity. Although, should I? Could just get the hunt over with. enough. I think that's it. I will get out of here. Wraith selected? Slowly making my way to level 65. Again, it'll be level 68 before I can unlock anything else. And that took me 13 minutes. Alright, so that's it. that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll continue with Bleasdale and then the high school and prison. Finish off with uh, Sandy Meadows Restricted and Full. And then I'll figure out what I want to do with uh, the Tier 3 stuff next. But I just wanted to do a full professional run to demonstrate all of the Tier 3 equipment as much as I could. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.